Pinstar, and this is Two Point Campus Strategy and Tactics. Quick tip. So today we're going to talk about everybody's, well, least favorite uh, problem to deal with, and that is medical and pastoral issues. So a little combo video here. I'm going to show you the best way to deal with these two persistent items, these passing problematic issues. And that is going to be, well, uh, let me show you my ideal room build for both the medical office and the pastoral office. Are you ready to see how we get, how we build these things? Let's dive in. There, it's done. What do you think? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm actually serious. I think the best way to build a medical and pastoral room is to not build a medical and pastoral room. Now, I can already hear you guys and gals coming to the comments section, dropping me a WTF, but hold, hold your fire, hold your fire. I, I have reasons to back this up. I would not be dropping a hot take of this magnitude without them. Allow me to explain. Problem is, when you have a student who is queuing up for a pastoral uh, room or medical room, they are not fulfilling their needs. They're not, they're just standing around waiting for their turn. That causes the rest of their needs to continue to get worse and worse and worse, and they're unhappiness problems compile and contrast. They are not fulfilling their needs. They're not doing anything about that. You know, they're peckish. There's a cheesy, cheesy gubbins machine right there. But nope, they gotta wait online. Now you might just say, well, Pinstar, you obviously don't have enough of the pastoral rooms here. Why don't you build more? Well, yes, that would technically help, but ev the problem extends even further because when they're on their way to pastoral care, you may have someone who gets dragged off to class who, you know, will abandon their place in line because class arrives. While the queuing for pastoral and medical care as it basically trumps their ability to fulfill their needs, classes trump medical and pastoral care. Students don't, you know, understand you should cut class when you're feeling really, really low. So you get into these situations where, you know, these, these students are, are thinking of dropping out. Why are they thinking of dropping out? Because they've been sitting here stewing in their own terrible needs because they're not doing anything about it. Patients in Two Point Hospital, by contrast, have absolutely nothing to do but get themselves cured. So when they're in a big queue like this, unless they have a burning need to attend to, they don't go wandering off, nor do they get dragged away by a, the need to go to a specific class. They will wait there and take care of, of get in line, take care of their one thing, and then go somewhere else until they are cured. Not so much with Two Point Campus. To further demonstrate my point, here we are in Breaking Point. Now, Breaking Point is the campus where you get paid based on your student happiness. So you'd think of all the maps in the game, of all the campuses in the game, if you were gonna let your students stew without any medical or pastoral care, that you'd be punished for it big time on this map. But you'll find that that's not the case. So we, here we are, we just started a new school year. I can guarantee you that by the end of that same school year, we are gonna be in a fine student happiness. I'll even avoid spamming out the, the special events to artificially inflate their happiness. And yeah, there's gonna be pastoral issues. So here we are. One of the flaws of the Goths is they have this drop dead cautious, which is just a blanket fi minus 15% happiness. Right now, this student has absolutely no way to resolve that and will be carrying that the entire year. Yet they're 77% happy because they are able to fulfill the rest of their needs. So yeah, let me show you how this plays out. I'll see you at the end of the school year. All right, let's check in on our little campus here. We are now at 82% student happiness. 
And as you can see, once again, just to be crystal clear, not a single pastoral room, not a single medical room on the campus. We still have our suggestion box resolve one pastoral issue. Yeah, that ain't getting resolved anytime soon. And yet, the students are happy. Why? Because they could actually go about their day and fulfill the rest of their needs, even if they've got a little bit of a, a medical or pastoral issue sitting on their shoulders. So that, my friends, is why no pastoral room or medical room is the best medical room or pastoral room. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if uh, you uh, either agree or sharply disagree, uh, by all means leave a uh, comment in the comments section. This should be a fun one. <laughs> so until next time, this has been Penstar signing out. See ya!